So today we'll need two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of milk, one fourth a cup of sugar, and one half a teaspoon of baking soda. Wait, wait, Treya. I thought this was supposed to be a science lesson, not a cooking lesson. This is a science lesson. These are all the ingredients I need for my chemical reaction. And the most important ingredient for this chemical reaction was heat from the oven. Now we have some wonderful cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Shreya. I'm with USC's Young Scientist Program, and today we're going to be learning about chemical reactions. Come with me. When we hear the word chemical, we often think it's something bad. But a chemical is any substance containing matter. And if you think back to last week, matter is just anything that takes up space. So the water you're drinking right now is technically a chemical. But a chemical reaction is what we think of when we think of science. When you mix certain chemicals together, sometimes those molecules or really small units of matter react and create something new. This doesn't mean if you pour water with oil, it's going to do a chemical reaction. There's only specific chemicals with specific molecules that can be put together to create something new by doing a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction occurs when there's a chemical change. This means the molecules in the two chemicals interact and create a new molecule or something that looks new. So when you have burning wood, a rotting banana, mixing baking soda and vinegar, which we're going to do, or fireworks, you're creating something new. You can't reverse it and put the firework back in or unrot the banana or unburn the wood. It's created a new substance whose molecules look completely different. This is called a chemical change. In comparison with a physical change, like last week, a physical change means that the molecules do not change what they look like, and this means that the object is still made of the same thing. But in a chemical change, you're making something completely new. Let's do our experiment and see some chemical changes or chemical reactions in action. In this chemical reaction, we'll be mixing together some baking soda and some vinegar. If you've ever made a mini volcano, this is kind of what makes that eruption. So I'm putting maybe a big spoon of baking soda and then pouring in another spoon of vinegar. And we'll see that when I do that, it immediately starts bubbling up and all those bubbles start popping and then it takes a little bit of time for those bubbles to stop. But we just learned that in a chemical reaction something new is created. So how can we tell that here something new was created? And I'm going to show you how we know something new was created. Here I have some baking soda in an old bottle and I'm going to pour some vinegar into the bottle instead of the cup like before and then put a balloon on top. What do you think is going to happen when I put that balloon on top? Let's find out. Somehow that balloon started filling up with air. That's because in the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar, gas forms. And that gas has nowhere to go except inside the balloon when I cover up the top of the bottle. That gas was not there before, and now it is. That means something new was created. This week's scientist is Dr. Marie Maynard Daly. Dr. Daly is the first African-American woman to receive a PhD in chemistry. She was a professor and researched some of the chemistry that happens in the cells in our bodies. She has also done amazing things to increase the diversity of students in higher education. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.